All right, hello everybody. Once again, we are here for another free live uh, pronunciation class. Jay in the house. All right, Nate. All right, no worries, man. I'm happy you're here, buddy. Okay, so Jay just arrived. Wave at the camera, Jay. You know what to do. Hi, <laughs> Now be careful of the camera, please. Okay. All right, so Jay is here. And what's your name, man? Yasser. Yasser. All right, Yasser. Which country are you from? Nice to meet you. From Saudi Arabia. Excellent, man. Welcome to the class, Yasser. Be careful of the camera there, please. Okay. okay. In fact, Yasser, I prefer if you could sit in a different seat because nobody can walk by. Please choose a different okay. seat for me, okay? All right. Um, let's see. So it's Jay and Yasser. Okay. Okay. So, my name is Nick, I'm from California. We have lots of students from all kinds of many different countries here in the class today uh, who are going to learn pronunciation with us. And of course, we have lots of students all around the world who are watching on Facebook Live videos. So, I'm gonna introduce everybody in the class and which country they're from, and then we will uh, start the class. We'll say, hi world, we'll review the rules, and then we'll learn some pronunciation of some good Vocabulary today. Stephanie, how many people are watching already? Uh, I don't, it says 19. 19 people. We can do 20. more than that. 20, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we have yeah. Guillaume from France. We have Stephanie from France. Uh, Thalia from Brazil. We have uh, Luciana from Brazil. We have uh, Mariana from Brazil. Sojung from Korea. Uh, we have Jay from China. We have Yasser from Saudi Arabia. Alberto from Mexico. And we have Evgeny from Russia yes. and Yismal from Ethiopia. So we have an excellent mix of students uh, from many different countries, many different languages, which means that we're going to get some excellent practice today with the, the pronunciation of this, these vocabulary terms. <laughs> if you're watching around the world, two things. First, type in the comments which city, which country you're watching from. So if you're watching from Tijuana, Mexico, type in the comments, hello from Tijuana. If you're watching from... Um, uh, from Kiev, Ukraine, type in hello from Kiev. If you're watching from uh, Thailand, just say hello from Thailand. Any country you're watching from, type in the comments. Also, please share the class. Click share. Share the class with your friends around the world. It's a free class. It's a free opportunity for everybody to learn with Connect English, to become a better speaker by doing these exercises, this activity with us today in the class. So please um, share the class. It's totally free. Let your friends learn with you, okay? So, uh, let's start by saying a uh, high world to the world. You guys ready? Yeah. On the count of three, we're going to say it, okay? One, two, three. High world. Okay, all right. So, let's talk about, because this is the first class, lesson one at our new campus. We just finished doing eight weeks of class at our Pacific Beach campus. Now we're doing the class here at our Mission Valley campus, our headquarters campus. Um, we have to review the rules of my pronunciation class. I really have only two rules for pronunciation class. Rule number one is do not cross your arms. Uncross them. Luciana, good job. Thank you. Okay? So uncross your arms because in my pronunciation class, it's really important for you uh, to be loose and to be ready to feel the pronunciation. Okay? Feel it. When students have their arms crossed, frequently they... They don't participate as much. So I want you to oh, be ready to feel the good pronunciation today, okay? Um, the second rule of the class is do not worry about mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. If or when you make mistakes in the pronunciation class, it's an opportunity for us to learn with you, for you to learn and for all of us to learn about, oh, that's difficult, hold on, oh, ah, ah, and to stop and think about how to be a better pronouncer when you make mistakes. So mistakes are okay. Don't be afraid, okay? All right, so uh, I need to give a shout out to a few friends of mine who are watching all around the world, but most importantly to my friend Matt, who is watching at work in Solana Beach right now. He probably shouldn't be watching the class, but he is. He's at his computer watching the pronunciation class up in Solana Beach. Hey, Matt, good to see you. All right, so we have 10 vocabulary words up here today. Why do we have these 10? Why did I select these 10 words today, you guys? Why these? Sounds similar. Very good, again, exactly. They're not the same, but they're similar. A little difference in pronunciation makes a big difference in what these words mean. So if we're not careful with how we pronounce them, we could accidentally cause confusion, okay? So people say, oh, I don't understand what you mean. What was that word? I, did you say this or did you say that? 
And so by working on our pronunciation together today, we will be more clear speakers. Okay? Let's get started. So does anyone know what this word means, lack, when something lacks? Yeah. What does it mean, lack? It doesn't have enough. There you go, Stephanie. Good job. It doesn't have enough of something, right? For example, if you're just eating rice, white rice, it lacks flavor. Okay? It has not enough flavor. You need to put some sauce or maybe some chicken or some vegetables with the rice, then it's much better. But rice with nothing else lacks flavor. It does not have enough of or does not have any. Okay? What are some, um, some um, let's see, what is some weather that San Diego lacks? Some weather that never happens in San Diego. Snow. snow. There you go, Kenny from Russia. He knows it. Yeah. <laughs> San Diego lacks snow. It rains sometimes, but it never snows. There is no snow in San Diego. You have to go to the mountains for that. So that's a great example of getting. So lack is when there's not enough of something or there's none of something, okay? Uh, but this one, we all know what this means, right? We all do this with a key on our door of our house. Or when we go to the gym, we put a lock on the door of our locker to, to protect all of our, our wallet and our bag at the gymnasium when we're exercising. So to lock is to close something and to make sure it does not open, that no one can get in. There's a big difference in what these mean, okay? But a small difference in pronunciation. So please first, everyone, let's start with this one. Put up one finger, everyone. Everyone, please put up just one finger, okay? So Jung, you ready with that one finger? Thank you, okay? And just touch right here. This sound comes from the back and middle of your throat. Ah, ah, ah. Lock. Jay, you're doing it. You know what's up. All right. Yas are looking good. Ah, ah, ah. Lock. Okay. Lock. Okay. Uh, Thalia, can you say it for me? Give me lock. Lock. Very good. Okay. Guillaume, you as well. Lock. Lock. Good job. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Like officer, like stop. Okay. Like walk and uh, operate, etc. Ah, ah, ah. Like when you get into a hot tub. Uh, for the first time, you go, ah, oh, okay, ah. Oh. That's just from the back and middle of your throat. But this one is a hard sound for a lot of students. It's difficult. For this one, I want you to put up two fingers, please. Put up two and touch back here. It's the back, but it's the sides. Ah. Yeah, good. Mariana, looking good. Good job. I saw the ah. Okay, ah. Yeah, Alberto, good job. Give it a try. One more time. Give me lack. Uh, yeah, uh, say it. lack. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this food lacks flavor. Ah, ah, ah. It's boring food. Ah, ah, ah. Lacks. Okay. Uh, Yusmol, can you give it a try? Give me lack. Lack. Very good. And now, Yusmol, give me lock. Lock. Good. So feel the difference of where this sound comes from. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Uh-huh. Ah, ah, ah. Like lack and after and Saturday. And Africa, okay, ah, and then ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. uh -huh. you got it. Now, getting, give it a try for me, give me lock. Lock, lock. Good, and now give me lack. Lack. Good, I really heard the difference. Good job, man, it was really clear, okay? Let's go to, um, why don't we go to Jay, your turn, give me lock. Lock. Good, and now give me lack. Lack. That's great, I really hear it, okay? So, Joe, give it a try, give me lack. Lack. Good, and now lock. Lock. Very good. I like it. Everybody sounds really good. Let's do it as a class. <coughs> Easy one first. Give me lock. One, two, three. Lock. Uh -huh. And now two fingers here. One, two, three. Lock. Good. Do you feel the difference in the way that your face feels? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Think about how it feels, okay? A lot of students at times say, hey, Nick, I don't hear the difference. I, I don't hear it. Uh, they sound the same to me. That's okay. Because maybe there is no difference in your native language between these sounds. So it takes a long time if you've never heard the difference before. You have to depend, you have to focus on how it feels. Ah, 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 ah. Think about how it feels, not how it sounds in your ears. Focus on the feeling. It'll help a lot. Okay, this next one is a really important one because uh, this is an animal, right? What sound does this animal make? <laughs> right? You got it. And we shave this animal in order to make a sweater, okay? So you use this, the, the hair of this animal to make wool, which is uh, material for making a warm sweater, okay? You, know, you have a cotton sweater, probably, right? Probably made of cotton. Yeah, that's not wool, right? That, wool would be too hot in San Diego, but a cotton sweater is okay. It's not too hot, right in the middle. So this is a sheep, okay? And this one is, of course, a big boat. 
Maybe it takes cars across the ocean, or maybe it takes a, you know, a million shirts from China to the USA, or something like that. This is a big boat, this is a ship, okay? But let's talk about the difference in pronunciation. Let's start here with the easy one, because this one, this sound exists in every language in the class today. E, E, E. I want you to think about your teeth, right here, like this, your teeth, okay? If these are your front teeth, right here, okay? So Jung, you're doing it, good job. Think about your teeth, right here, okay? And think about the top of your mouth, and think about your tongue. Your tongue is high in your mouth. Cheap. Yeah, think about where your tongue is, it's high in your mouth. Just a little bit of air going down your tongue. All right, Yasser, give it a try. Give me sheep. Sheep. Very good, okay? Yismal, give it a try. Sheep. 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 Yeah, easy sound, right? Guillaume, give it a try. Sheep. Yeah, sheep. yeah you got it. <laughs> Stephanie, your turn now. Sheep. sheep. Yeah, you got it. Okay, Thalia, give it a try. Sheep. sheep. Yeah, think about your tongue. It's high in your mouth. This is a very normal, natural sound. It exists in Korean. It exists in French. It exists in Spanish. It exists in Russian. So this is an easy sound. But this one is the new sound, and it's difficult, okay? A lot of students say, ah, I don't want Nick, I don't hear it. For this one, the same idea. Think about your front teeth, right here. Okay. Think about the top of your mouth, right here. But your tongue is now low. And you breathe out a lot. Ugh. Yeah. yeah, so Jung, you're laughing, that's good. Okay, Alberto, give it a try, give me sh. Sh. Good, I really saw you open more and you breathed out when you did it. That was perfect, man. All right, Stephanie, give it a try. Give me low tongue, sh. Oh, no, not this one. You gotta open more. Low tongue, sh. That's better, good improvement, way better. You have to force your tongue down, low tongue, and breathe out. Shit. So one more time, Stephanie. Shit. That's great, excellent improvement, really good, okay? Luciana, give it a try for me, low tongue, breathe out. Shit. Good, I saw your mouth open more when you did it. And some students say, that's weird, I feel strange when I do that. Yeah, okay, it's gonna feel a little strange, it's a new sound for many people. Yes, mom, give it a try. Give me sh. That's really good. Great pronunciation. Now back to the easy one, yes, mom. Sheep. Yeah. Do you feel the difference between e e e and uh, uh, uh? Okay. Many students, again, will say, I don't really hear the difference, though, Nick. I don't really hear it. That's okay. Okay. Because it takes a couple of weeks of practice of the uh, uh, uh sound before you say, now I can hear it. But for now, if this is a new sound, a lot of people say, I don't hear the difference. Focus on how it feels. Think about your tongue, low in your mouth, breathe out. Shit. So don't give it a try for me, give me shit. That's really good. Now give me sheep. Sheep. Very good pronunciation. That was great. Okay? Uh, yeah, so give it a try. You already did sheep. One more time. Sheep. Now give me the low tongue. Uh, shit. Sheep. That's good. I saw the mouth open. Breathe out more. Shit. All right, getting your turn. Shit. Yeah. Good, and now sheep. sheep. That's great. That is perfect. You're all really doing it well. Let's do it as a class. One, two, three. Sheep. sheep. Good, and now low tongue, breathe out. One, two, three. Sheep. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, you got to feel that low tongue. Breathe out. Sheep. If we don't do the low tongue, we can cause confusion. You say, oh, I was, at, I was in Pacific Beach and I saw a sheep on the ocean. <laughs> I saw a sheep on the ocean. Uh-oh, was he swimming okay? I hope he was a good swimmer, right? I don't know if sheep can swim. Right? So, oh, you saw a ship on the ocean. I saw a ship on the ocean. So it's really important because people say, you saw a sheep? I hope somebody rescued it. Okay? But you saw actually a big boat. You saw a ship on the ocean. So one more time as a class, just this one. Ready, guys? One, two, three. Sure. Sure. Good. I saw everybody opening up, breathing out. Sure. Okay. Now this one here, we all know this one. This is the verb of <laughs> Okay, in the past. This is laughed. Okay. Now this is the same sound as lack. Okay. This one is laughed. Ah ah ah. Okay. Yeah, you're doing it. That is the two fingers. Again, everybody. So take those two fingers and touch here. Laughed. Laughed. Yeah, I laughed at the joke. Okay. What did he do when he heard the joke? Oh, he laughed. Okay. But this one, okay, maybe if you say, what did he do when he heard the joke? He left. 
He went out the door. He did not like the joke. Okay. Yeah. So these can cause two problems, right? Yeah. If we don't know which one uh, happened if we don't pronounce them carefully. So this one is mouth open, ah, 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 laugh, like after. Right? Jay, give it a try. Give me laugh. That's very good, man. Yismo, your turn for laugh. All right, Guillaume, your turn for laugh. That's good. I laughed at the joke. Okay? Yeah. But now this one is very similar, okay? It means, like in the past, I went out. Also, it's your not your right arm, but your left arm. But this one is the same thing, but teeth together. Left. 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 Uh, uh, uh. Think about your teeth. And Sojung, you're doing it. I can tell, okay? Uh, uh, uh. Left. Left. Yeah, he left. Okay. Left. Yeah. Hey, where's Nick? He left. Okay. Left. He left. But if you, if you open too much, you're going to say, hey, where's Nick? He laughed. Yeah, but where is he? <laughs> okay. Yeah. He laughed. Well, that's nice. I'm glad he's happy. But where did he go? Oh, he laughed. No, no. I, I don't care if he laughed or not. Oh, he left. He left with the teeth together. So, John, you're really doing it well. Good job. I can tell that you're thinking about your teeth. Uh, uh, uh. He left. He left. Yeah, he, he needed to go get lunch, so he left. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see, Mariana, it's your turn. Give it a try for us. Let's start with the easy one. Laugh. Good job, and now teeth together, left. left. That's really good. I heard the difference. Do you feel the difference? That's really good. Thalia, your turn for the, let's start with the hard one, left. left. Good job, and now open up for laugh. Left. That's right. All right, Alberto, your turn for laugh. Left. Good job, and now teeth together, left. Left. That's really good. Okay, Guillaume, your turn for left. left. Good job, and laugh. Left. Good job. I really like how you're, uh, 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 ah, you're really left. feeling it today, and that's important. Left. Let's do it as a class, everybody. Let's start. The, let's do that all together. Open up big four, and the two fingers four. Laugh. One, two, three. Laugh. Good. And one, two, three. Laugh. Good. I really like how the difference of sound that I'm hearing, and how much I can see. I see Yasser going. Uh, 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 uh. Good job, man. Really good. Okay. The next one. When we have to tie our shoes, for example, we're going to take the strings and. Okay. We're going to tie a knot. Okay. Yeah. That is a knot. It is all those together. Hey, where will you find a lot of knots? Where do you see these frequently? In a ship. On a ship. Very good. <laughs> On a ship, you will find knots. A lot of ropes, a lot of things yeah. there that are tied together. A sailboat also is where you'll find a lot of knots. Also, if you're a rock climber, right, you need to know how to tie knots, okay? So this one is pretty easy. It's the same sound as lock, okay? That's that single finger. Everybody put up one finger. And touch right here, okay? This one is not. not. And it is the same pronunciation as in like the negative. I'm not happy, okay? Not. I'm not going on the vacation. I'm not here today, okay? Ah, ah, ah. So same exact pronunciation, silent K. Don't you love the silent K in English? I don't understand why we have it. But anyway, it exists and I have to teach it. So this is ah, 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 not. Not. Like soft, like stop. Okay, but this one is, of course, the food that we eat, like peanuts, for example, okay? They, they grow on trees. There are many different kinds of them. For example, almonds, walnuts, cashews. Well, cashews maybe not, don't technically count, I don't think. But then we've got, uh, this is an acorn. This is an example of, and this is a, careful, you guys ready here? Ready for this? Here we go. Nut. Nut. Yeah, Stephanie, you're already doing it. Everybody, please put your fist in the air like this. Talia, have you seen this before in the yeah. videos? You know what's happened. I can tell you were ready to go. Okay. So for this one here, you got to put pressure in your stomach. Ah, uh, nut. nut. Yeah, nut. nut. Okay. Yeah. Nut. And then this one, there's no pressure. It's all right here. Ah, uh, not. Yeah, I'm not happy. Okay. And I don't like nuts in my food. Ah, uh, nuts. You got it, Alberto. That's perfect, dude. Great pronunciation. Okay. All right. Uh, Luciana, your turn. Give it a try. Nut. Yeah, and I saw, you guys see that her head is moving when she's doing it because she's putting the pressure. You're feeling the pressure, and that's important, okay? Stephanie, your turn. Your turn. Nut. Yeah, and I saw your head move. Uh, uh, because you're putting the pressure, okay? So, Joe, your turn for nut. Good. Yasser, your turn. Nut. Oh, uh, uh, I see a little here. I want more pressure, please. Nut. Nut. Okay, good. Pressure in your stomach is better, okay? Give me more pressure. Nut. Nuts. I hear it more now. Good job. Nuts. Okay, gotta have the pressure. If we decide 
No pressure, we're accidentally going to say not. Okay. No, no. We need uh, Okay. This is an especially difficult one for our Russian speaking students. Do we have one of those? Oh, we do. We have one. We've got Evgeny today. So this is a hard one for Russian speakers, especially. So Evgeny, first let's start with the easy one, not. Not. Yeah, great job. But this one now, put the pressure, not. Not. That's it. Okay, I saw the pressure. I heard it. Good job. This is difficult for Russian speakers, so we need extra focus for you, okay? All right. And uh, Yismal, give it a try. Start with the easy one, not. Not. Good. Now give the pressure, not. Not. That's it. I really heard the difference. The uh, okay. Many students say, Nick, do I really have to go, uh, every time I say it? <laughs> no, you don't. Okay. Do you guys know what it means to be nuts in English? If you are nuts, it means you're crazy. Yeah, <laughs> you got it, Mariana. If you are nuts, you are crazy. If you walk around and say, excuse me, I'd like to buy a bag of nuts for a snack, <laughs> people will think you're crazy. They'll think you're nuts. Okay. So, but what matters is this. You need some pressure. Some. If you decide no pressure, you're accidentally going to say this one. You just need some pressure. Not a ton. Not a, like a million pounds of pressure. Just a bit. Nut. Okay. Nut. 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 Oh, that's perfect. Nut. Nut. That's perfect. Nut. Okay. You just need some pressure. Talia, give it a try. Nut. Nut. That's it. Good job. And now back to the easy one. Or nut, Talia, your turn. Not. Not. That's right. Okay. So some pressure is essential. No pressure is going to say this word instead, okay? So let's do it as a class, the easy one together. One, two, three, not. 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 Yeah, no pressure, right? Uh, 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 that's not. Not. Now, get ready with some pressure. Everybody ready? One, two, three, not. not. Yes. Yes. Yeah, all right, nice, very good. Okay, the next one, let's start with this one. This one is the same sound as lack and laugh. This is the two fingers, so we're doing this one a lot today. Put up those two fingers here, ah, 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 back. Bath. I took a bath after. Bath. Okay. Yeah. I, I, after I got back, I took a bath. Ah, ah, ah. Side. Ah. So the sound is from the back, but sides of your throat. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. But this one is a difficult one, okay? I think we're going to do pretty well with it today, but I want to give it a try. For this one, this is when a baby is born, okay? It is the beginning of a life. This is birth. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, so for this one, I want your lips to be forward and open. Okay, I'm going to show this one to the camera. Uh, okay, uh, uh, uh. So your lips are forward but still open. Not ooh and not ah. We want uh, uh. Yeah, okay. So Mariana, open a little more. Your uh, uh. That's better. Okay, open a little more. Okay, I don't want you to go ooh, obviously. It's not booth. It is burr. 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 So lips are forward and open. Jay, good job, brother. Burr. I like the way you're doing it, okay? A lot of students accidentally say, ah, bath. Uh, my bath day. My bath day is tomorrow. Like, you take a bath tomorrow? I don't understand. Oh, because they do the er, er, er sound as ah, 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 and that's not it. Okay, this is er, birthday. Birthday. So, Stephanie, looking good, but open more. Burr. That's it. Birthday. My birthday. Burr. Okay. Luciana, give it a try. Burr. That's really good. That was perfect. And now to the easy one. Bath. That's it. Nice job. So Jung, your turn for burr. Good job. I saw the lips forward and open. Great job. Now bath. Bath. Yeah. Okay. Evgeny, your turn for the easy one first. Bath. And now lips forward but open. Burr. That's really good. Okay. Stephanie, your turn for the easy one first. Bad. Good. And now lips forward and open for burr. Okay. Do you want to like an ooh? I want more ah, like err. That's better. Okay. Birthday. Burr. You don't give it a try. Give me burr. That's good. And now bad. That's good. Okay. So the lips are forward and open. Err. Err. Yeah. Mariana, you're doing it really well back there. Good job. Let's do it as a class. Everybody together. The two fingers again. Bad. Bad. Good. And now lips forward and open. Burr. Burr. Good. Burr. 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 Okay. Burr. Let's review them all and then we'll do an activity with them. So let's come back up here to the top. Two fingers up. Ah, ah, ah. When we don't have enough of something, lack. Lack. Yeah. Like for example, today's class lacks Japanese students. There are no Japanese students today. It's interesting. There are usually a few Japanese students. So Jung is from Korea. Jay, you're from. China, so all our East Asian students are from different countries. Today's class lacks 
Japanese students. Ah, 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 laugh. laugh. Good. And now this one here, close the door with the key. Ah, 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 lock. 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 Good. And now this one here, remember everybody, low tongue, breathe out. Shit. Yeah. Good. And then high tongue, a little bit of air. She. Good. Oh, and by the way, my name, as we know, my name is not Neek. My name is? Neek. 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 Yeah. That's right. Okay. Next one. Teeth together. Okay. This one is left. Left. Good job. Left. And this one is ha 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 in the past. Laugh. Laugh. Good job. Okay. With the two fingers here. This one here. Pressure in the air. No pressure. That sound coming from the middle of your throat. Not. Not. Good job. And now with the pressure from down in your stomach. Not. Yes. Good job. And now here, two fingers again. Bath. 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 Good job. And now this one here, lips forward and open. Burr. Burr. Okay, cool. All right, so here's how the activity works today. Everybody get a pen and paper, or maybe you can get your cell phone out. That's okay. I'm going to give you a telephone number, but I am not going to tell you the number. I'm going to say the words. So, for example, if I say lock, that means write down a number one. Okay. If I say laughed, write down a number six. Okay. If I say bath, write down number nine. Okay. So I'm gonna say the words. You write down the numbers. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is my friend Brian's phone number uh, from when he was a kid. Okay. So my I've known Brian for I don't know since I was five years old. So I've known him for 33 years. When he lived in Oregon as a kid, this was his telephone number. Okay. It's not his number anymore. So if you call this number, you will not reach Brian. But here we go. Brian's phone number is... <clears throat> Sheep. Burr. Lock. Sheep. Lack. Laughed. Laughed again. Lock. Lack. Laughed. Okay. What do you think Brian's phone number is? 541-536-6136. That is right, you smell that was perfect. Nice job, man. Okay, he got it right. 541-536-6136 is Brian's phone number. Well, was Brian's phone number in Oregon? He has a new phone number now, but I don't remember it anymore. Okay, but now it's your turn. Now I want someone else's telephone number. I'm gonna ask you guys to give your phone number by using good pronunciation. First person, do we have a volunteer to be the first one? All right, Alberto, good. Next person is not a volunteer. I'm going to call somebody, so be ready, okay? But we'll let the first person be a volunteer. It's Alberto. Hey, which city are you from in Mexico, man? Tijuana. Excellent. Okay, cool. Tijuana Ense in the class. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's get a phone number. Alberto, go ahead. Speak loudly, slowly, and clearly, please. La. Mm -hmm. La. Birth. Lack. Love. Left. Lack. Lock. Love. Birth. Okay, is that it? Yes. Okay, you had a lot of the L ones, a lot of the L words that we're using, so this yes. is going to be challenging, <laughs> but you did a good job. All right, Yasser, what do you think? What do you think Alberto's phone number is? I think 3343186184. 6184, so we have some differences? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's see. So, John, what did you hear? What do you think? I'm uh, not sure. Six. I have some, mine's close to that. I had, it is double six at the beginning, right? Yes. Six, six, okay. It is six, six, okay. Uh, Stephanie, what did you hear? What do you think? 
didn't do it. Didn't catch it. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. Talia, what did you hear? What do you think? Six, six, four, three, six, eight, three, one, six, four. Oh, that's, that's exactly correct. what I have. Yes, that's correct. That's it. Yes. That's correct. All right. Talia, nice job. Alberto, good. So it was six, six, four, three, six, eight, three, one, six, four. Uh, no. Uh-oh. Did I make a mistake? Yes. Wait, so what is it? So wait, maybe Talia got it right. I got it. What is it? Well, go ahead and tell us the number. Six, six, four, mm -hmm. three, one, uh, eight, three, one, six, four. Okay, so the six and the one we got mixed. So we had a laughed and lock that got a little bit mixed up. Yes. Okay, so I, I had some difficulty with it. That one is laughed and this one is ah, 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 lock. I said lock. Uh-huh, so give me laughed. Laughed. Good, and lock. Lock. Okay, this one here, we need more ah for this one from the middle. Ah. Lock. And this one is from the sides. Ah, ah, ah. That's it. I heard the difference now. Good job, Alberto. Okay, next person, next victim now. Okay, who's it going to be? I think Mariana should go now. Okay, she's been doing a good job. I'm confident in you, Mariana. Um, if you want to give a phone number in Brazil or your parents' phone number from when you were growing up or something like that, any number, remember just to speak loudly, slowly, and clearly, please. Okay. Okay. Left. Chip. Bet. Left. Not. Nut. Not. Not. Long phone number. Wow, okay. <laughs> Sounded pretty good though. Okay, so let's go to Guillaume. What did you hear, Guillaume? What do you think Mariano's phone number is in Brazil? Uh, seven, five, eight, seven, nine, eight, two, seven, two, two, nine, four, seven. I have a couple differences from that. Were there some differences? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Evgeny, what do you think? I have a question. Sure. Not uh, zero or what? This is a zero. Yeah, okay. Zero, oh, yeah. Zero. That's a zero, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Guillaume. Yeah, I didn't write it very clearly. I'm sorry. Hold on, let me make that a little more clear. I was right in a little bit of a hurry. This should be a zero, okay? Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's see. Um, Evgeny, what did you hear? What do you think Mariana's phone number is? 5585920210. That's what I have. Yeah. All right, Evgeny, nice job. Mariana, very good job. So it was five five eight five nine eight two zero two two nine four seven. That's a long Brazilian number. They're not. Oh, you did the country code, the area code. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a long number, but that's good. Good practice for everybody. Okay, last person can be a volunteer. Is there a volunteer? Let's go, let's go ladies first. Let's give Stephanie a try. Guys, you'll get it next time, okay? Next week, I'll make sure you go, okay? But ladies, get a chance. So go ahead. Stephanie, your turn. Go ahead and speak loudly, slowly, and clearly, okay? Sheep. Left. Sheep. Lock. Please? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was holding my breath. Okay. All right. That sounded pretty good, Stephanie. Good pronunciation. Why don't we go to uh, Why don't we go to Why don't we go to Jay? Jay's a veteran. He's been doing this a long time. What do you think, Jay? Five eight five one four zero zero nine six. Ooh, I have one difference from that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. What do you think, man? Can you help us? Seven eight five one four zero zero. 
nine eight. Mm, I have three differences from that. I think I have three differences. Yes, Ma, what do you think, ma'am? I got five eight five one four zero zero nine six. Ooh, is it? Yeah, that's what Jay got. So is it, Stephanie, is it zero zero or zero two in the middle? Zero two. Uh -huh. I heard the difference. Yeah. Evgeny, what did you hear? What's the complete number you heard? We probably have it right. Five, eight, five, one, four, zero, two, nine, eight. Ooh, nine, eight? Mmm. Is it nine, eight or nine, six, Stephanie? It's six. Mmm. So what is the number, Stephanie? Give us the complete number. Five, eight, seven, one, four, zero, two. Three, nine, six. Oh, two, three, nine, six. Oh, I think we we skipped a number oh, then. Yeah, I forgot that there was no three in there for me, right? Yeah. yeah. So we'll add that in. Okay. But I had a difference between seven and five. Uh, when you you said five eight five, or you said five eight seven. So I did not hear a ship. I heard ship. Yeah. So remember, Stephanie, go with the low tongue ship. Yeah. I saw a ship on the ocean. Okay. Ship. Okay, that's it. Give it a try, Stephanie, one time for me. Say shh. Yes. That's really good. That's yes. really good. And now cheap. Sheep. Yeah. So this one is high tongue and low tongue. Also, another one that was difficult for others, but I heard it very well. I heard the nut or not. And I heard you do a good job with the pressure here for nut. Okay. And then no pressure for not. That sounded good, but I think some students had some difficulty with it. Okay, we're going to end it there today. We're going to go into another activity that we'll start. We have enough time to do it. Um, let's see. So I'm going to say goodbye to everybody on camera here. Uh, let's see. Oh, we always do our ceremony. Yeah, we always do our ceremony at the end of pronunciation class. Everybody, please put your arm out in front of you like this. Everybody put your arm out. Just one arm. Okay. Turn your hand like this and pat yourself on the back. <sighs> yeah. You did a good job today. Okay, so now we're going to say, um, let's see, I'm going to say uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, we do this class every Wednesday on Facebook Live video, but if you're in San Diego, you are invited to come to the class and learn with us. Um, you can get more information about our schools, about our programs to study in California at connectenglish.edu. Thank you for watching, everybody. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to say bye world, okay? On the count of three, we're going to say bye world. You ready, guys? One, two, three. Bye world. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you next week.